On Monday, Iran took another bold step into the future of aerospace. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force successfully launched the Qasid satellite carrier rocket in a suborbital test, marking a key achievement for a country that has made steady gains in space technology over the past decade. The Qasid, meaning messenger in Farsi, is a three-stage space launch vehicle. Its innovative configuration combines liquid fuel in its first stage and solid propellants in the second and third stages, a hybrid design that boosts both reliability and range. Iran first introduced the Qasid in 2020, but this recent test shows the system has matured significantly. This was the first satellite carrier test by Iran since the intense 12-day war with Israel in June, during which Iranian missile infrastructure suffered considerable damage. Yet despite that, this launch proves that Iran's aerospace capabilities remain resilient and technically capable. The vehicle lifted off from the Sharud Space Center, showing that Iran's military-managed space launch sites remain operational and effective. According to Iran's state-affiliated Tasnim News Agency, this launch was designed to improve the performance of the country's satellites and space systems. Though no satellite was deployed during this test, the implications are profound. It suggests that Iran is refining its launch platforms in preparation for heavier payloads and more complex orbital missions. Technically, the Qasid's propulsion system deserves recognition. Its upper stages use solid fuel motors, a critical advancement that allows for faster launches and improved storage. The Salman engine used in these stages features carbon composite construction and thrust vectoring capabilities, offering both agility and strength. Iran's space efforts have often been overshadowed by geopolitical tensions, but from a purely technological standpoint, the Qasid represents a national achievement. It reflects years of investment in materials science, orbital mechanics, and propulsion engineering, fields that require robust educational systems and infrastructure to support them. Since 2009, Iran has launched several satellites into low Earth orbit, but most of these missions used older liquid-fueled rockets. The Qasid represents a generational leap, matching what we've seen from emerging space powers like India and South Korea during their early development stages. Beyond technology, the symbolism matters. For a nation under heavy sanctions and diplomatic isolation, achieving space launch capability is a statement of self-reliance. It sends a message that Iran intends to be part of the global conversation on satellite development, Earth observation, and communications. There are, of course, concerns from international observers. The dual-use nature of space launch vehicles means the same technology could, in theory, be adapted for long-range missile delivery systems. But Iran continues to emphasize the peaceful and scientific nature of its space program. While some Western analysts warn of military implications, others note the strategic restraint Iran has shown, especially by keeping most of its space vehicles below the intercontinental range threshold. The 2,000-kilometer range cap remains a stated policy. More importantly, the test shows that Iran is building institutional knowledge in aerospace engineering. The IRGC Aerospace Force has also expanded domestic satellite production, trained new generations of aerospace scientists, and upgraded telemetry and tracking systems, building the foundation for an independent space capability. In the wider regional context, Iran joins a small club of nations in the Middle East, developing indigenous launch systems. Its neighbors are watching closely. This could inspire competition, cooperation, or both, in civilian satellite development and commercial space applications. For now, Iran's July 21st Qasid test stands as a technical milestone. It marks the country's return to the launch pad after a period of military confrontation and infrastructure loss. It proves that Iran is not just rebuilding but progressing, leveraging science and engineering to secure a role in the 21st century space race. As nations invest in next-generation space platforms, the question is no longer if Iran can reach space, but how far it intends to go.